The first pre-recorded message is from His Excellency Mr. Mahdoum Shah Mahmoud Qureshi, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. I kindly ask our colleagues at the technical department to play the message. Thank you. Honorable Chairman, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, let me begin by thanking the Republic of Serbia for convening this high-level commemorative meeting to mark the 60th anniversary of the non-aligned movement. The world, Mr. Chairman, is facing multiple challenges. Climate change, increasing inequalities as well as racial and religious hatred, especially Islamophobia, threaten global peace and hamper development efforts. The COVID-19 pandemic has further compounded the situation. It has also revealed the fragilities of the global system. As an important grouping dedicated to peace and development, the role of NAM has become all the more significant. We need a comprehensive and cooperative strategy to rise to the occasion. The strategy to build forward better should include, firstly, vaccine equity. Everyone, everywhere, must be vaccinated against COVID as soon as possible. Secondly, adequate financing for development should be ensured through comprehensive debt relief and restructuring expanded ODA, redistribution of unutilized SDRs, provision of climate finance, ending illicit financial flows and return of stolen assets stashed abroad. Thirdly, clear investment strategies which alleviate poverty, generate employment, build sustainable infrastructure and help bridge the digital divide. And lastly, focus on eliminating the structural and systemic inequalities in the global financial tax and trade regimes. Mr. Chairman, sustainable development needs to be pursued in a holistic manner. In this context, Pakistan welcomes China's Global Development Initiative, recently announced by President Xi Jinping at the UN General Assembly. We will support efforts for its implementation for stronger, greener and healthier global development as proposed by President Xi. Mr. Chairman, unfortunately, we are seeing resurgence of great power tensions and a renewed global arms race, which now includes new dimensions of cyber warfare and militarization of outer space. The world needs to renounce Cold War concepts of strategic competition, military alliances, global or regional dominance, foreign intervention and occupation. Such concepts are rendered anachronistic by the existential threats faced by humanity. Such approaches also run counter to the NAM ethos. Pakistan deeply values the fundamental ideals of NAM, in particular its principal support for the right to self-determination of people living under foreign occupation. Foreign intervention and occupation are often accompanied by denial of the right to self-determination. They are the most common root causes of conflicts and of grave violations of human rights. This is manifest in Palestine and in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Pakistan calls upon NAM and the international community to secure a just, peaceful and expeditious settlement of these long-standing disputes in accordance with the resolutions of the United Nations Security Council and the aspirations of the oppressed people. Mr. Chairman, Pakistan remains firm in its commitment to NAM and its founding principles, which are as relevant today as they were 60 years ago. They embody our movement's collective aspiration for peace, equality, cooperation and well-being for all. I wish to conclude 
by once again thanking the Republic of Serbia for hosting this historic meeting. I also want to thank the Republic of Azerbaijan as the current chair for leading the movement with dedication and dynamism at this critical juncture. I thank you. I sincerely thank His Excellency Minister Qureshi for his statement and would like to 